Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I don't have a planned tutorial because uh, instead my friend Sam and I are going to be collaborating on palette bingo. And palette bingo is basically you choose one of those enormous palettes that have a ton of shades and then B-I-N-G-O, you choose five shadows and build a look off of that. Now, I don't own one of those 88, 99 color palettes that uh, Coastal Sense used to put out. So instead, uh, Samantha and I are going to be using the Mi Vida Loca Remix palette by Kat Von D. And I've gone ahead and numbered all of the shadows. So I'm gonna be picking five colors at random in a little bag I've got over to the side here. And then I have to build a look based on this. Uh, I know a few people are intimidated by doing stuff like this, but I can't wait because I sometimes get into ruts where I choose shadows that are very similar or of the same tone. So I'm excited to have something that's going to inspire me to choose something a little bit different. Uh, since I am collaborating with Samantha, I think you should really go over to her channel and I will link her. I've never done this. So here-ish, there's a space. I'm going to put a little clip from her video there and head on over and see her look. Now there aren't a lot of rules for this, you just have to use five random shadows, but you can pull in any other products that you have. All right, I have a bag, love these bags from Sephora, uh, and it's got the shadow numbers, that they are numbered one through 24, I just put little post-it notes on it, uh, and then those numbers are replicated in this bag. So I'm just gonna choose five at random. All right, five. So let's see what I got. So 23, oh God, the pink. 20, three, oh, the black, that's pretty handy. 16 and one. I can't believe it, I actually got neutral shades in this. So I am using one, which is, what is, I can't even read, strutter. Strutter. Black metal, okay, this is already gonna be a little bit too easy now. 16, which is vinyl. 20, 20, which is harpsichord. And 23, which is the pink. Yeah, this is easy. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. And because I'm using bright colors, I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. Even though I'm quite fair, I still need a solid base to make sure that colors show up as much as I can. All right, I'm taking the first shade, uh, which is Strutter. And that's a very obvious transition shade, so that's where I'm putting it. All right, next up is Vinyl, which is the bright green down here. And I'm putting that all over my lid. All right, the next part is where I'm not sure it's gonna work out. So I'm going to be taking Harpsichord, which is the shade here, and I'm gonna be putting that in my outer corner. And I say outer corner, but invariably it always ends up through my crease anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fine, that works. I like how that's coming out actually. Those are definitely colors I would not pair together, but I think because there's some gold in the bronze shade, it's kind of, it's blending a little bit better with the green than I expected. All right, so now I have to incorporate this ridiculous pink shade called Swoon. So I'm taking that and I'm putting it through, hmm, well, yeah. Okay, it's gonna go right there, <laughs> just to blend it out a little bit more. All right, I need to blend all that out because it's 
it's looking really top heavy. So I'm going in with Max Blanc type eyeshadow and it's just a skin color tone for me. And putting that on my brow bone so I can just soften everything up. <laughs> and I've got a cat that came up on here. <laughs> All right, the last shade to incorporate is the black called Black Metal. I don't really feel the need to darken any of this colors or any of this look up, but I kind of have to incorporate it. So I'm just gonna put it in the outside corner of my eye. Yeah, I don't really feel like the black adds anything to this. <laughs> All right, so because I'm not so keen on the black, I'm actually gonna, it does deepen up the look, but I, I don't like the way the black just sort of sits there. I'm gonna go back over it with harpsichord so that it just deepens up the color a little bit more, but it'll look more bronzy in the corner than black. I can't believe that the hardest part of this look so far is trying to incorporate the damn black into it. Yeah. All right, more harpsichord on my brush, just layering it on top. All right, I cut the foundation part out, but I did use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick, and this is in the shade Y225. And now I'm just going in with my bronzer and blush, and then I'll go back to the eyes to finish them up. So I'm using my Joe Fresh bronzer in sand. And this, it's almost done. It's almost done, guys, and then I can be done with it. <laughs> it's a good product. I'm just tired of using the same bronzer every day. All right, for blush, I'm going in with a favorite of mine for orangey toned looks. I know there's green in there, but there's a more enough orange for me to be happy. Uh, so this is the Hard Candy Box in a Box in the shade Skinny Dipping. There's actually two shades in there. There's like an orange and a, more of a bronzer shade actually, but it's quite a nice shade when blended out on the cheeks. And that was too much. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, blend, blend, blend. That, the, the lights kind of hide it, but I literally look like I just went boop. Shit. Taking my foundation brush just to blend that out. So it's a pigmented blush. Yeah, there we go, that's better. And because you can never go wrong with champagne pop as a highlighter, that's what I'm gonna be using. I think I'm just gonna mimic on the lower lash line what I already have on the top. And then back with harpsichord that's going on the outer corner of my lower lash line. All right, I'm gonna finish off with a winged liner and I'm going to be using Max Gel Liner, in, uh, Fluid Line, in Dip Down, which is a dark brown. And I would normally go for black, but I think with all the bronzy tones in there, I just want something a little bit more subtle. Uh, for brows, I'm using the NYX Micro Brow in Taupe. And for mascara today, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. All right, for lips, I'm going in with the Annabelle Big Show in Caress Tenderly. It's a lip lacquer, so it's got a, it's not just a straight lipstick, it'll have some sheen to it. All 
All right, and that is it. Take down my hair here. All right, there we go. That's my palette bingo look. I am pleasantly surprised, although I'm a li little bit disappointed I had so many neutrals to work with because I would have preferred just using five straight colors. But um, this is not a look I would ever think to put together by myself, so I'm happy to try something new. I also think it's a fun challenge for if you need any kind of inspiration. I mean, I can't do this on a daily basis because it would take me way too long to sort out the numbers and stuff for this, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I will link to Samantha's video right here. Please be sure to go check her out. And frankly, actually, I'm excited to see the video because I'm filming this now, but I haven't seen her finished result yet. So uh, head on over to her channel to see what she came up with because she'll be using the same palette that I did. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.